So I did this quiz on Instagram of a scrotal patient. Here you have the testicle, epididymis, and then this round structure here. Now that is a torus appendix testis or a torus appendix epididymis. Here we have an anatomical specimen of a testicle. There you see it's labeled testis, testicle, epididymis, which usually wraps around the testicle. What we see on ultrasound oftentimes mostly is the head of the epididymis. And then here's the appendage of the appendix testis. Now that appendage is a vestigial remnant of the malarian duct. If it twists, it can cause pain. In some cases, it can, can lead to epididymitis. There may also be a residual hydrocele. Now, it's very common, most often present in the pediatric population, especially prepubescent boys. We see them quite often. I had one tonight. It is an ARDMS question on the registry for abdomen, especially for pediatrics. I got one question on it in the pediatric registry. So it's just something you should know. You might not see this in the adult population, but you can't see a normal appendage in the adult population, especially if there's a hydrocele. It's present in 90%. Now it is thought that these scrotal pearls or scrotal liths, which are little calcifications within the tunica vaginalis, are the result of torsed appendages that once they become necrotic, they calcify over time. All right, so I hope you found this useful. Uh, remember torsed appendix testis, okay? Bye.